Thank you and welcome back to Fred Mwangi TV. Kindly subscribe, like and comment and share this video widely. Now, the family, friends and colleagues of late journalist Rita Tinina have eulogized the scribe as a gentle person who could accommodate anyone. Speaking during the requiem mass for Tinina, NTV journalist Olive Barrows who read the statement by the family expressed the family's grief and shock following Tinina's ultimately demise. He said, Umetuacha kwa mata. They eulogized Tinina as a soft-spoken person who listened patiently to everyone. He said, Without you are ours, but numerous tributes have been written, each expressing their personal experience with Rita. From the fuel attendant at the petrol station to the watchman, Tinina impacted lives without caring about the people's backgrounds, the family said. Tinina was also celebrated as journalist who mentored younger journalists in the profession, many of whom attributed their success to her guidance. The media fraternity has indeed lost a gentle giant. She will be missed around the world. At the end of the tribute, the family urged Kenyans to emulate in inner writing. If your tomorrow never comes, who will remember you and how will you be remembered? Tinina is said to be buried on Wednesday, March 27th in Olorikirai, Narok County. Her, her autopsy, her dahlia revealed that the journalist died of severe pneumonia. Speaking from Uma Fanro home, family spokesperson Timothy Jaga said they are satisfied with the results. He said, we had come here to witness the post-mortem and it was completed by Dr. Degwa and the family pathologist. We have been given the results that the late Rita died of severe pneumonia. Jaga said, government pathologist Peter Degwa conducted the autopsy in the presence of the family pathologist. Those present at the requimers include her colleagues Dan Mwangi and Joe Ageo. ICT Cabinet Secretary Elio Dowalo, Editorial Director of Media Services, Kenya, Linus Laikaikai, Lida Oguto, and Ken Mijugu. They all eulogized her as a trailblazer in the media space, who they say will be dearly missed. The last time I saw Rita was on Ash Wednesday and our encounter was brief and we agreed to catch up soon but it was never to happen. She was one of the finest human souls. To the Yaipan family, we share your pain and start with you. We acknowledge that no words are adequate to take away the grief. And now, thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe, like and comment and share this video widely. My name is Fred Mwangi from Fred Mwangi TV. Let's meet on the next one.